Good morning, how are we? How are you doing? I'm <laughs> coming at you with this gorgeous post shower ensemble. I love my skincare routine right now. My skin is so much better than it was. I was looking back, in fact, let me just take this off because I look kind of crazy. I've literally just gotten out of the shower. So let me just remove these layers of hair protection. Um, yeah, so, oh, I did also put some rollers in overnight because I was determined I wouldn't have to curl my hair this morning. There we go, that's better, hardly. I have been loving my skincare so much recently um, and I looked back at an old video. Oh, that's come up pretty good. I just got these from Boots. They're really comfortable to sleep with, actually. And I also, skincare fact, which I hate, I sleep on my back now so that I'm not like mushing up my face. It is the most ridiculous thing. I remember hearing it and being like, oh my gosh, that's so annoying. But now every time I sleep on my side, I can feel myself just squishing up my skin and um, giving myself bags and just creased skin so i now literally sleep on my back for my skin so these rollers as you'll notice are all at the front but even then sometimes i roll onto my side and when i rolled onto my side these were still really comfortable so um i'm quite pleased with how this curl is coming out although now i'm kind of gutted that i'm taking them out prematurely because i feel like these actually look better than i thought they would anyway what was i saying <laughs> I looked at an old video the other day, an old vlog that never made it out of the archive. I was shocked to see how bad my skin was. And I say, I say shocked, it wasn't sh like shocking because obviously I knew what my skin used to be like, but I was surprised at how much better it's gotten. Um, in that video I just had so many scars and maybe I'll just put in like a video of it somewhere um, here so you can see. Okay, I'll just like tangle this all the way up. Um, but yeah, I don't have like that bad scars anymore, which is really, really nice. Let me just shake this up. It has all been due to me getting on top of my skincare routine, finding a routine that actually works, that is very simple and easy to follow. So I woke up this morning, it's a Sunday morning, I'm getting ready for church. And I was like, let me just show them my skincare routine. So the first thing is first, I get my hair out of the way. There we go. It's a bit better. Fine. So first things first, my face is so shiny because I use Vaseline at night um, and even though I've showered I don't really, I like splash water on my face in the shower but I don't like wash my face in the shower because I've got a whole routine that I want to do. Um, so yeah that's the reason why my face is so shiny. I can do another video on my nighttime skincare routine. That one is like really simple and just lovely. Um, okay so first things first, one thing I love to do um, is I grab, oh, I've got my little shelf of skincare, my skincare shelf, love that. And um, I grab some creepy wilting baby oil. This bottle is probably like three years old and a cotton pad. And I use that to clean my skin. Now I do that at night as well to like remove all my makeup. Um, but I just realized I love baby oil for my skin. I love heavy oils on my skin. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I really, really do. I feel like they lock in moisture so well. Like, I'm an oily kind of gal, you guys. I'm an oily kind of gal. I don't know what that means, but my skin tends to get shiny, and I think that it just loves grease. So, I do my first clean with some baby oil, and it never ceases to amaze me that there's always dirt on the cotton pad. Like, how can they be doing it on the cotton pad? I wash my skin so well. Anyway, next thing I do, just tilt the camera a little more so you can see, is I wash my face. So, I say wash my face, I literally just wet it like that, can you see? Yeah, so I wet my face and then I grab my Magitone face brush. It needs a new head. This head is now old and it needs a new one, but I do clean it, but I just know it was whiter than that when I got it and now it's like a little beige, just a little beige, so I need a new head, which I'm going to order with my next round of products from Face Theory. So I dampen that and then I get my Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser. So I just got this from Superdrug. As you can see, I've not used much of it. Whoa, I've not used much of that. I use this twice a day and that's all that's gone down. I've 
it wasn't even that recently i'm sure i got this like a month and a bit ago so that is a bargain i use so much i use this like it's new in terms of i used to use um cerave or whatever i used to use the cleanser but then i was in super drug the other day so i just picked this up because it was cheap and i don't hate it it, I, I quite like it actually, it's moisturising. My main thing for me whenever choosing products is I want them to be moisturising. I hate when I wash my face and it feels dry. I hate that so, so much. So this has actually been quite good and I'm very surprised to see that it is still so full. Can you see that? It basically looks like it's brand new but I have been using this twice a day for like a month. Anyway, I squeezed some on there. So just a little, just a little bit. And it was only like £12, I can't believe that, that's going to last so well. And I just kind of like wash my face with it. So I'll go in like, sorry, it drips at first. I go in little like circular motions and I pay particular attention to my chin and jawline area because annoyingly, I should have probably recorded this and then done one of those like classy voiceovers to make this video less messy and also because I have to stop doing this so you can hear me when I talk um, but I basically get ingrown hairs on my chin um, and it's so annoying so I have quite bad scarring down there now it has gotten so much better than it was it used to be so much worse and it has improved and I'm grateful for that um, but there's still a long way to go so I'm kind of considering maybe trying to use some kind of kojic acid or some kind of like scar remover but i think the main thing to be honest i think would sort that is just getting laser hair removal so that the hairs that grow there don't get ingrown or like no hairs grow there so i don't get ingrown hairs because it's definitely just from ingrown hairs um and it's not a problem like i don't have a particularly hairy chin but the scarring is annoying it is a problem so i kind of focus my attention down there as you can see once I'm done with that I rinse my face we've got this face cloth here I just wet that And I use this to kind of just remove all the excess, like, oh, oils and stuff that are sitting on my skin. Um, and also then I can do the towel test to see if I've got everything off. My hair is actually like natural. I <laughs> um, have not relaxed my hair anymore. So any water gets on this, it's game over. Okay, fine. And when I'm done, my skin, as you can see, it's not like gaggingly dry. It's not gagging for moisture. It actually still feels moisturized. If anything, there's probably a little, a little more oil on it than I'd want, but that's good. I'd rather that than it being super dry. So that's how I wash my face in the morning. And then I start with my product. So I'm currently using this super drug hyaluronic acid booster as a moisturizer. I honestly normally use the inky list one but again I ran out and there's just a super drug near me so I popped in quickly and got this one. When it comes to hyaluronic acid um, I honestly feel like it doesn't make a massive difference what one you buy. <laughs> That's a product that I don't splash out on. Like it'll do as long as it says on the tin that it is what it is then it is what it is. But yeah I just rub that into my skin gently. Apparently you're supposed to pat but I've never really had the patience to pat it all over my face so i just rub it in this one to be fair i say that i prefer the inky formula to this because this one's just a little more i don't want to say slimy but like a little more soapy in terms of if you put too much you'll see it like soaping up a bit as you can see on my chin there but i put that all over all over my neck the front of my neck the back of my neck all over Part of me worries for what my ears will look like in 50 years time because I don't put any product on them. Did you guys see that photo of the woman who only put sunscreen on her face and not her neck? The Lord sent us that photo. She saved a generation, a generation of people because the way I was not putting enough sunscreen on my neck. I was not putting enough sun cream on my neck. The way the way she saved me. Thank you. Thank you to that lady for sharing her story.
The next product that I use, once I feel like that's fully absorbed, and to be honest, I feel like I'm rushing this right now. Normally I'd leave it for a little bit longer and go and do something else, but filming this for you, so, is the Regina C30 something, the Vitamin C Serum. I love this stuff, I love this stuff, I love this stuff. It's from Face Theory, I'll put the link below. Absolutely adore this stuff. Um, it's a little, again, slimy <laughs> in terms of like it's quite heavy and moisturizing but as you can see from my skincare i love that i do not want some you know and they're like oh it's light and okay like cool 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 i'm glad i don't want something you know i don't want to kick my face my face in vaseline but for me i love this vitamin c serum it took a while to get used to the formula because it is a little heavy but I just find what it does for my skin oh my gosh it makes me glow baby it makes me glow so I just rub this in again trying to be nice and gentle and because it's like so thick I don't know if it's the word is thick but because of the consistency of it if I'm using this, and I rarely do, but if I'm using this, this is what I use it on because it's such a good surface for it. Now what I'm going to do is, this is my face before, I'm going to show you my face after I, I've, after I foam rolled, lol, athlete, after I've used this massage roller and just see if there's a difference. Because I honestly do feel like it makes a difference, but it's just so time consuming. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> always had this weird thing ever since I was younger where I've just always really loved my chin. I don't know what to tell you. I just remember as a child being like, this is such a good chin. Like I can put my hand in it and it's just like, bloop, bloop. So that's nice. It's really funny the things like as kids that we naturally, oh that feels good, that we naturally love and like until the world tells us what we should and shouldn't love and like. But yeah, my chin and my jawline, for whatever reason, as a child, just loved it. I was like, that's a good, that's a good chin. I don't know what makes a good chin, but apparently that does. I don't even know if this is what you're supposed to do, but this just feels good. I feel like if I had under eye filler, I would do this every day to make sure the filler stayed in place. There was a time where I really wanted under eye filler, but I didn't get it because... I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan for me personally. I think people can do whatever they want to do. But for me, I'm really not a huge fan. Um, but yeah, so I haven't had, as you can tell, <laughs> I haven't had any work done. Um, but I'm not against it, I wouldn't rule it out. I just, it's nothing I felt like, oh, I really needed that. And also getting on top of my skincare, I feel like it's just improved things so, so much without any need for needles. Um, oh. Anyway, I'm going to stop doing this now. Do you notice a difference? And one thing I also do is anytime I'm doing my skincare and there's some excess, I just rub it into my hands because these babies need love too. So everything that goes on my face ends up going on my hands too, which is quite good because uh, the hands will also show signs of like aging and also oh, especially at work, I wash my hands countless times a day. I would say at least 30 times a day, if not more, maybe like 50 times a day, which is so drying, so, so drying. And I don't always remember to carry around skincare and um, skin hand lotion with me. Okay, the next thing I do then, again, I usually leave this to like sit for a bit longer, but I'm just going to rush through for the sake of filming this video, is I use the CeraVe Moisturising Lotion. Now, this is really lightweight. Um which is great like you can see there it's quite lightweight um and it's fine i feel like it absorbs easily into the skin but i honestly usually feel like i need layers of it to feel like my skin is full do you know what i mean um but again i use tretinoin so my skin has never been so dry and being a moisturized babe tretinoin making my skin dry and i just yeah, that's a lot for me. But yeah, I put this on top. Okay, I am actually just gonna let that sit and make a coffee because I'm rushing to do this for who? For what? 
I'm just gonna edit this anyway, so you're not really waiting for me. So I'm gonna go make a coffee. Do you wanna come make a coffee with me? Come make a coffee with me. I love getting older. It's just the little things. And I know I'm not old, I know I'm only 29, but it's the little things of just like a coffee in the morning. Now really I think I love who I'm becoming There's times where I might do it just to do it like it's nothing There's times where I might blow like 50k on a vacation For all my friends just to see the look on all their faces All it took was patience That was good Drake, babes Hit me up Hit me up Okay I'm just gonna grind the beans Two of these Look at the beans Beautiful beans Back in the freezer they go. Gorgeous, gorgeous babe. Always preheat your mug, especially as the weather's getting colder. Just a little bit of hot water. Yeah, swish it around to make sure the mug is hot. And you pour out the hot water, by the way. You pour it out so that the mug is hot, but also empty and ready for the coffee. This pump is jammed. It's constantly jammed. It's so annoying. So I literally just open it. <laughs> it's okay. Please ignore the current two TV states of the living room. I really want to put the big one up on the wall and get like a little fireplace in the living room, but yeah. The fireplace that I want is like 600 quid. Um, I really, really want it though. And I'm trusting God it's gonna happen. I'm gonna find a way to make it happen. I will, it'll be fine, it'll be easy. Why can't I have a fireplace? People have fireplaces all the time. Okay, now that everything has absorbed a little bit, um, I'm gonna go in with my CeraVe moisturizing cream. Now you might be thinking, Sarah babes, you already used your CeraVe lotion, but I'm telling you, they're completely different. This one's like thick, it's like a thick paste that honestly sometimes I feel like just doesn't absorb, but it's a really good like, I found it to be a really good makeup primer as well. It's so smoothing, um, so. Yeah, I do apply two different creams, which I know might seem silly and honestly didn't start off as, oh, I want to use two different creams. I just kind of bought one, tried it. I was like, oh, that's a bit thick. Bought the other and tried it. It was like, oh, that's a bit light. Put them together, baby. And it's perfect. The perfect duo. One penetrates the skin and moisturizes. The other one sits on top and holds in that moisture and slowly during the day releases their own. So that's that. And then the final step, sun cream, sunscreen, sun cream. The La Roche Posay 50 plus sunscreen. Now it is gray as gray can be. London is doing its A star gray theme today, but I always use sun cream. I always have, I don't know what it was or what, taught me that to be honest like growing up i like the feeling of the sun on my skin for about 20 seconds and then i feel like a piece of bacon frying and i just i just always wanted to wear sunscreen so i've been wearing sunscreen every day since i was like 15 maybe um and so to find out how good it is for like anti-aging and all that stuff is really good um also of course in prevention of skin cancer and all that jazz is really important so i definitely recommend wearing sun 
cream um the la roche posay one i love because it does it without making you silver gray or purple to all my beautiful melaninated sisters watching this melaninated melanated melaninated sisters watching this this is the one it does not make you gray it is so lightweight which is what you want for a sun cream you don't want it to be greasy so lightweight and i absolutely love it so i apply that last and i do um reapply sun cream during the day if it's like particularly sunny um so because of that photo that i saw if you don't know what photo i'm talking about i will insert it here so you don't have to go searching the internet but I do apply it to my neck first <laughs> and a little further down and then just some more over the rest of my face and I apply this very generously um, I think this is probably my priciest skincare product I mean I think uh, I don't know it depends uh, on your budget uh, but relatively I think my skincare is affordable like it adds up very quickly to be honest um, but I don't spend, I don't buy like all these, you know, expensive products. I think there was once I bought a 200 pound eye cream because um, it was supposed to get rid of dark circles. And it did get rid of dark circles to the point where it, it literally was almost giving me white spots under my eye. And I was like, oh my gosh, and I had to just get rid of it. Um, and since then I'm like, do you know what? It has to be really special for me to spend more than like 30 quid on a 30 mil product a pound a mil I think is my my current for so my current budget is my current limit of like okay what is this actually doing that a cheaper product can't and I really recommend that if you're on a budget don't go throwing all your money away on all these expensive products it, maybe if you're curious try one and see if it changes your life but just be aware that actually there are lots of affordable versions the ordinary is amazing and it is relatively much cheaper than other brands um so keep searching around and don't assume that skincare is better just because it's more expensive like that's a literal marketing tactic is to up the price so that people will think it's better <laughs> um, but sometimes it's really not and also different things work for different people so this is what works for me i love this routine um it leaves me just feeling ready for the day and i love the process as well i know it sounds really silly or at least back in the day like i think there's probably a morning routine video on this channel where i wash my face with like probably hand soap because <laughs> i just wasn't that bothered about skincare um so if that's you that's cool too like it's really not that deep but for me now at this stage in life i love this i love i love this whole shebang i love feeling like i'm at a spa taking the time to apply different products and so whether it makes a big difference which i feel it makes a big difference or whether the only difference it makes is in me feeling like i've had 10 minutes to myself to enjoy and appreciate myself then that is still absolutely worth it to me so yeah that's my skincare routine i hope you've enjoyed the video i will leave links to the products in the description box oh phone's blown up apologies for the super rushed <laughs> video end there let's try that again um i had someone buying an item from me on facebook marketplace and they were downstairs so i literally just had to run but yeah i can't remember what i got up to i was basically saying i'll leave all the links to the products in the description um for you to try this is just what works for me and i really enjoy skincare and i encourage you to if you i find that even if it's just a little thing during pressed and stressful times and i'm aware that a lot of people are going through financially pressed and very stressful times right now in the uk um but taking that 10 minutes five minutes just taking a little bit of time for yourself to look after yourself i think it makes a big difference so if there's any way that you can do that i really encourage you to um because the better you are the better you can show up for other people so anyway that's all i'll say about that thanks so much for watching if you want my night time skincare routine and how i use tretinoin tretinoin i always call it tretinoin i don't know why um if you want to know how i use tretinoin then let me know and i will film a video on that for you as well i was going to do like a get ready a get ready with me video after this and like do my makeup and stuff but your girl has run out of time because uh, I need to go, I need to get ready for church. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the videos I've been uploading. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see. I love you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.